Hi and welcome to 3dspacepro.com 3D Jewelry Claim Design Library Video The purpose of this video is to show you our built-in library in 3D Jewelry Claim filled with over 400 different components that you may assemble in front of your customer within a minute creating their own customized pieces and editing the design by just simply I just want to give you guys a simple a ring in the jewelry, in jewelry claim, templates folder, we have over 400 design templates designs made by jewelers to the jeweler. I want to create, I'm going to show you more uh, solitaires. We have lots of different solitaires that you can pick and change it and modify it the way that you like. By simply picking up a shank. From picking up a shank, I'm going to pick one of these designs that you see in here. I'm going to pick one of them that I can alter and assemble. Open it. This is the shank that I have. It's created by the jeweler with the window gallery. In the jewelry section, I'm going to open up a finger rail, picking a finger size. Then I will go ahead and bring a head. In head library, we have so many different heads. You can open any size and alter them in size that you like and change the dimension or thickness of the prongs. Simply, I'm going to pick the Prince Cut head by zooming in. I'm going to move my Prince Cut head over the ring that I like to be exactly the height. As you see, you have the numbers from zero. To the top where the stone is exactly now I need to open up another basket now this is the prince cut head that you like and your customer wants to have another trillion on the side simply go to the templates heads and find a trillion basket here we go open it now from the top view I need to make sure that my trillion is in the center and I need to rotate because of the angle 90 degree moving the trillion up on the ring now if I rotate this trillion on the side of the ring remember um, my shank it's going to be intersected to the trillion I just want to move the trillion by just selecting finger rail and rotating around the finger rail now we have the ring in here and it's the shank is intersected I can turn off the over here we have history that we have the components I can turn off the first component this is my second component but I need to see how far I'm uh, taking back the finger size the, sh the shape now before we move on I want to show you something. This is the window. It is opened up when I redesigned it. Any of these windows, you can move them, alter them, move them around the ring, up and down. Or grab the side and move the side in. Or select the whole window and just fill it. Basically, fill the window. Now I'm going to select this window. I'm going to fill it again. Grab this surface in here of the shank I need to pull it backwards so I can bring my trillion so I can see how far I want to go in now by just simply coming in here I'm going to zoom in one second just drag this over here wherever you want to stop your shank and rotate this from the base or from the center backwards now you can pull it backwards in here too again and move it backwards now remember the shank is wider than my uh, piece i can grab the corner both sides of the shank align and pull it i can fill it or chamfer it as i want to go so i can make my shank fits to my basket over here we did one side of the ring 
and I want to try to create the other side of the ring. Simply combine the shank from the plane and mirror it, the shank from the here over here to the other side. And every time I click in any of these pieces, it will mirror automatically the other side. Select 3D mode. Now this is my ring. Let's say I need to open up a window. First, we need to fix the, this circle in here for the shape by simply selecting this plain view and grabbing a circle for my finger size. Turn off my finger size, turn off my shank. Pull this surface, both side minus over here. Just drag it. It will cut the whole piece in around the shape. Now, select offset my finger rail offset my finger rail I need to select first my finger rail and do offset over here onto the height of the retreating then create another sort of plane over here how high I want to go and cut this piece I don't have to go too big because I can move them around I need to turn off my baskets my shank trim this with this this is the window that I want to open up in my center stone center basket this is it minus both sides just cut now it is not completely all the way to the wall not a problem we can just drag and move both sides in or out I can just create one side and quadruple for four corners and have it four side same is the side that I like I can combine this side from here and combine this side from here this from the center combine this from this center the other part and I can select mirror from here and I can select mirror it again from this other side now I have my piece done completely then I will open up the shapes the sizes everything I can turn up my surfaces my planes just for me to see what it looks like this is the piece that I created in here now even though our if we let's say we did cut this there's no thickness in here not a problem we don't have to go back and rebuild the piece we can just basically pull the surface down as I go this is how to assemble the pieces thank you